Hello everyone, this is Miss Donahue. Um, I get the privilege again to go over the first day in your new packet. This is the packet that says days 31 through 40 at the top. It is brand new and I'm excited to get started with you. As a reminder, our office hours are from 9.15 to 10.15 in the morning and 1.15 to 2.15 in the afternoon. So if, if you have any questions um, or concerns after watching this video, please use your teacher's office hours and they would be happy to help you. This is what it looks like on your packet. It's going to be this very um, first row right here where it says day 31. As a reminder, do not look at this date right here. Do not worry about it, just worry about the day. So we're working with day 31 today. All right, so there are going to be two activities um, for math this day. The first activity, it wants you to complete the how many pennies activity, which is on page five of your packet. And it looks like this right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and read you these questions. Number one, Mia has a quarter in her pocket. How many pennies are equal to one quarter? And you'll write your answer right here. Mrs. Terry has a dime in her wallet. How many pennies are equal to one dime? Write your answer right here. Number three, Jose has a nickel in his hand. Draw a picture to show the number of pennies that are equal to one nickel in the box to the right. So you're gonna draw your picture right here of how many pennies are equal to one nickel. And then number four, Jamal has a dime in his wallet. Draw a picture to show the number of pennies that are equal to one dime in the box to the right. So you'll draw it right here. How many pennies are equal to one dime? Again, this page you will find um, on page five of your packet. All right, so then activity number two has us doing another page from our packet where we are playing the eliminate game. The word eliminate means to get rid of something. When we are answering a question and given options, the best way to eliminate something is to cross it out. So I wanted to show you an example of this. So let's say um, that I had to answer this question. It says, which picture does not belong? All right, so I've got a picture of a pizza, a taco, a zebra, and spaghetti. Which picture does not belong? Well, I'm gonna tell you this right now, it is the zebra because it is an animal where the other pictures are food. So I'm just gonna cross the zebra out. And I did that by just going over the picture. You can just draw an X or you can just draw a slash. So just really simple, a slash or an X. And this is how you eliminate something. So you're getting rid of something. So the zebra does not fit in because it is an animal, not a food. All right, so that's how you're gonna play this game. It's called, um, so it'll be in your packet and it's called Day 31, Eliminate It. Think about the characteristics of a penny, a nickel, a dime, and a quarter. Choose one thing that only three of the coins have in common. Eliminate the coin that does not fit. Explain your decision. This activity is on page five of your packet. So it's gonna be on the same page as the other activity. So you're gonna look at these coins right here. It says, which coin would you eliminate? 
And again, when we say eliminate, you're just crossing it out. So once you've crossed out one of the coins, you have to explain your answer. And here is the sentence starter that you would use to help you. I would eliminate blank because, and then you'll tell us your reasoning down below. All right, and then your optional activities for math. There is a read aloud of the coin counting book. And this link will be shared with this video along with in the dojo message that your teacher um, sends out. And then you also can go onto Dreambox or Edgenuity for some technology time for 15 minutes. If there are any questions about any of these math activities, please use your teacher's office hours. All right, so for reading today, um, you'll, you have your optional video. This is where um, the teacher will be actually reading letter number three to you and going over some questions with you. So um, you have the choice to either listen to it on there or you can read it with your mom and dad at home, grandma, grandpa, anyone. So you're going to read or listen to the ornithologist letter number three and that will be on page 13. It looks just like this. Then, after you've read it, then you're going to think and talk about the letter and the information on the chart. And the chart looks like this right here. All right, so it says bird problems, steps on eggs, birds crash, trees cut, need homes. So these are some problems that birds have. And then these are ways people can help. Beach space, mark windows, save trees, and build birdhouses. So once you have talked about the letter and you've looked at this chart, then you're gonna do the writing activity. And it says to write. Write to tell what you notice and wonder about the information on the chart. See page 13. So you're going to look closely at this chart and then you're going to jot down what is something that you notice from looking at this chart. And then what is something that you still wonder after looking at this chart, which means what questions do you have once you have looked carefully at this chart. And you're just going to jot them right here. The sentence stars are kind of already there for you, so you don't need to write I notice and I wonder again. Just stop jot down your thinking on the lines below. And you'll find this on page 13 in your packet. All right, and then for a word work, you have your optional video for the instructional day of day 31. This is actually going to be the introduction of the new cycle 22. Um, so this is actually gonna be a great video to watch if you're able to, because it's going to teach you all about the new words in cycle 22 and how we can use the strategy to help us decode any of these words um, that you might find as you're reading the books in your book baggie or on RAS Kids. So once you've watched the video, then you're going to do the red and blue words activity. This is where you're going to write the words from the cycle 22 word list. Use a red crayon or marker to trace the vowels. Use a blue crayon or a marker to trace the consonants. See the word list on page 18. So here's an example. I have the word grow. I have traced um, the O in red. That is because O is a vowel. Again, our vowels are the letters A, E, I, O, U. Now our vowels can make more than one sound. So like they can make their normal short sound or and also their long sound. And then all the other letters are blue because those are consonants. So if they are not a vowel, then they are consonants. So it's every other letter in the alphabet. We also have a fun option that you could do this activity outside with chalk. Or if you have dry erase markers and a whiteboard at home, you can also do this um, on that as well and then take a picture and show your teacher. 
right? And then social studies. Our topic today is um, on supply. So supply is the quanti the quantities of a good or service that a producer is willing and able to make available for sale. Many things can affect supply. New technology, costs to make or transport, and even weather. So your activity today. In the winter, you find a plentiful supply of warm coats, hot chocolate, sleds, and snow shovels. These items are harder to find in the summer. Make a list of at least four items that are in large supply to purchase in the summer, but hard to find in the winter. Share your list with an adult and discuss. So here I have an example of um, some items that are in high supply in the winter. So I've got warm coats with a picture, hot chocolate, sleds, and gloves. So these are all in the high supply in the winter and low supply in the summer because we don't need them that much. So your job is to come up with, with a list just like this, but of items that are in high supply in the summertime. You also have an optional enrichment um, video that you can watch as well. Do not forget to um, send this um, activity to your teachers afterwards as well, and all activities. All right, and then you'll end your um, day 31 with a special area activity. Do not forget that once you have completed all your work to take some pictures and send to your teachers so they can give you some feedback, feedback for the day. I hope everybody has a great time completing day 31. If you have any questions after watching this video, please remember that you can use your teacher's office hours to ask them. I hope everyone has a wonderful day completing day 31.